Hello, G Nation. We got a brand new character to preview. It is my fellow French Canadian, Kevin Owens, Relentless, the guy from Maryville, Quebec, which is just outside of Montreal here, is finally getting a newer version in game. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff, as well as clicking that little notification bell. And if you do like the video, leave a like. All right, so we're going to have a look at that Kevin Owens. Uh, we're going to look at him at five star gold. As usual, he's not my own. He was sent to me for preview purposes, and they're taking him away after. You see now that he's a modernized version of Kevin Owens. He's a powerhouse. The model looks pretty damn nice. I like the model. Looks pretty cool. If you have a look at the card itself. Trainer ability at 17,000. 50% increased chance for blue gem on initial gem board. Matching blue gem's charge move of that color by two more move points. Links with Raw and Modern Era and no extra gear. So I definitely see multiple possible movesets. Uh, the one we're going to have a try here is the Bullfrog Splash. By the way, the reason I'm posting this preview this late is because there was a lot of changes to the character throughout the day. You might have not seen it all, but I didn't want to record 10 previews. So I waited for all the, the changes to be done to record this. First, like the moves, were, the cost of the moves were changed. Like both the finisher and the uh, sharpshooter here, those were 13 MP originally. They're now down to, to uh, 10. It was like two, three other moves also that had their MP cost reduced. Uh, this move here was not a stunner originally. They changed the name and the animation to a stunner so that it uh, fits better because I'm definitely happy that he has a stunner. So yeah, there was a bunch of changes that were down to the character and I wanted to be sure that what I posted was up to date. So, all right, let's get on with it. The first, the Bullfrog Splash, 10 MP red move, finisher deals 186.4K damage, destroys seven random trap gems and pin the opponent. The stunner, seven MP purple move, deal 81.1K damage, and choose a 4x3 area to swap into red gems. And the Argentine Neck Breaker, 5 MP purple move, deals 65.3k damage and make 11 random gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, gain 4 yellow MP. If broken by you, swap a 1x3 random Maria into red gems. Alright, so we're going to see how that goes. Uh, I'm not convinced that's going to be the best move set. I can already see a lot more, so... All right, trainers for this. Again, you got multiple options. We're going to go with Woods to start with more purple. We're going to put it Bulldog so that we get 35% red, red gem damage increase. Could go with Goldberg. You would give you the same plus some blue, but don't really care about blue. Uh, we're going to put Macho King so we get 20% from red and purple, which are our two colors right here. And I'm putting Ogun here. Uh, don't really care about the extra 1 MP, but I do care about the extra 2200 damage on all gems. In this case, mostly red is what I'm interested in. For the tile, I got uh, two unleveled and two level medals. One for the uh, move metal, uh, move damage, and one for the gem damage. And more importantly, I got the what's the rock cooking plate, which is whenever you break three or more red, get three purple move at the end of your turn. Obviously, this is all going to be about red damage. I don't really care that much about the opponent destroying my traps because it's going to give me yellow, which I can't even use. All right, let's try this. We're going to go versus Ivar. Entrance looks pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna lay our traps. Now we don't have any perks on right now. The event just started, I haven't bought any perks or anything. We're gonna lay our traps. Uh, I can break two of them.
That reloaded my purple, because we got some reds. We're gonna make more traps. And now we're gonna destroy seven random, as well as doing 400k. So as I expected, the uh, stunner move was not really that useful for that move set. So let's try that again, but let's pour, put another move instead that might be more useful and see how that goes. All right, we're going to do a variation of what we just did. Differences, we're going to replace the stunner by the cannonball. It is a 5 MP yellow move, deals 65.3k damage, and makes 7 random gems inf into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, gains 4 purple MP. If broken by you, increase the damage of all your gems by 127% for 3 turns. So that's a pretty good increase if I break it myself. Uh, difference though is, uh, well we're going to keep the same trainers as well. Uh, the only problem is that since we don't have any perks right now, we're not gonna we're not gonna have it ready on the very first turn. If we had Burks, a boat would be ready on the very first turn. I wouldn't even need to use Woods there. I would probably use a uh, Jinder, for example. If if I had the Burks on, I wouldn't use any MP trainers whatsoever. Boat moves would be ready turn one, and yeah, I'd put Jinder instead of uh, Xavier Woods right there. That would make even more traps. And we could use both trap moves on the first turn, and that'd be pretty sweet. Alright, let's uh, try this out versus Ivar again. Yeah, so we'll lay the purple. Hopefully, we'll be able to match one. Actually, we can match two. Red moves ready. Traps are ready again. Without any perks or anything, that yellow move is more a backup. Like the stunner, I literally had no use for it. Uh, this way, at least if he breaks a trap and I get some yellow, I get to use the yellow move. And uh, that would be pretty good. I, I'm going to use it on a different set anyway. I'm liking this better than I did the stunner. Just because it gives that three moves, a, uh, that, that turn move, a possible use. Eight hundred eighty k should be enough. All right, that worked out. We're looking for bigger damage than that. Let's look at something else. All right, other move set for Kevin Owens. It's gonna be the Super Kick. 7 MP yellow move, deal 86.1k damage, and swap a 1x7 Random Maria into purple gems. The cannonball, 5 MP yellow move, deal 65.3k damage, and make 7 random gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, gain 4 purple MP. If broken by you, increase the damage of all your gems by 127% for 3 turns. The Argentine Neckbreaker, which by the way, am I pronouncing that right? The Argentine? Because I know like in French it's Argentine. I don't know how you guys are saying it in English, so Argentine it is, maybe I'm butchering it. 
5 MP purple move deal 65.3k damage and make 11 random gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, gain 4 yellow MP. If broken by you, swap a 1x3 random area into red gems. Trainers for that, we're gonna use Kofi to start with more yellow. We're gonna use Jinder this time to create more traps because we do have two traps move that are gonna benefit from it. Uh, you could use again plus red damage, but I kind of want to go with Jinder because we got two trap moves. Uh, we're going to use also Macho to increase our purple and red damage. And uh, Ogin to increase all our gem damage as well as one more MP. Uh, again, if this was uh, with the perks on, we would have both of those moves ready on the first turn. Unfortunately, it's not. All right, let's do this. We're going to lay down the traps. Fortunately, that's all we're going to be doing this turn since we don't have any uh, any MP. Yeah, let's go with those. That gave us some yellow. All right, now that's going to give us some purple. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, but I switched the plate. Right now, I'm using the General's Order plate, which is whenever you uh, match some red gems, you get some yellow MP. But already? Oh, well, it did increase my gem damage, so... I'm, I'm going to try that one again, because I... I didn't get a good feeling on well not a good feeling but I I didn't I didn't test it enough so we're gonna run this again I think around here would be nice. All right, that'll break too. I'm good with that. Oh, my red ge my red gems are doing 70k. Now we're gonna lay down this. It's ready now. And put some more traps. We're starting to have a lot of traps. A lot of them are generating increase gem damage and a lot of them are just gonna make a lot of red everywhere now we're gonna make a one by seven red area into purple it's gonna fill our purple move and it's pretty unlikely to miss any of traps right there it's good it's got a well famous last words i guess but it should hit a bunch of traps <laughs> there you go and this should cascade and make more Increasing gem damage as it goes, as well as making more. I'm seeing blue doing 222,000. Holy shit bucket, nine million. Oh shit. <laughs> All right, I like that. I like that very much. Man, this must be good with the with the perks on. All right, let's look at some. I mean, nothing's gonna be that. But let's let's look at something else. All right, that was like pretty epic. I actually went back and look at my footage because I remembered I did like nine point something million, like nine point five million something. I didn't remember what was the original amount of damage because that nine point five was after damage mitigation. And looking at my footage, I actually did 11.5 million damage. Holy damn, that's a lot of damage. So we're going to look at something now, but I mean, every, everything's going to suck compared to that. <laughs> All right, let's have a look still. The Sharpshooter, 10 MP red move, color submission, make 12 random gem into yellow submission gem and do 87.9k damage for 8 turns. All submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into blast gems. 
The pop up power bomb, 7 MP, red move, deal 82,000 damage, and make 6 random gems into blast gem. And the stunner, 7 MP, purple move, deal 81k damage, and choose a 4x3 area to swap into red gem. Now it's too bad that that submission doesn't, doesn't turn them into purples or into red. That'd be better than turning it into this, but whatever. Trainers, we're going to use Kofi to start with more purple. We're going to use JBL so that red gems do 25% more damage. Blast gem do 100% more damage. And we're creating three extra blast gems as well. We're going to keep using Macho to get more purple and red damage. And Ogun for more overall gem damage and one MP. How did I switch the plate? No, I did not. Let's switch that plate. We're going to put back the what the rock is cooking so that when I make red, I get purple. There you go. Let's do this. Oh crap. We don't have enough to do anything. <laughs> I probably should have run for red instead of purple. Thunder! Uh, well, wherever I put it, it's gonna be. Uh, actually, maybe not if we're lucky. If I put it there, now nah, I'm gonna make 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Like, if nothing matches, it may remain my turn. Pretty unlikely. Yeah, figure it out. Still 330k just for that. that sub it's pretty nice that the sub itself does a lot of damage like it's 87k and it lasts eight freaking turn the downside is that since it's so long uh, you're unlikely to have much uh, gems left to turn into blast in the end uh, you could have went with all boost to that submission to make it much stronger like uh, Lashley I think and increase it by 50% but it also adds one turn and again uh, it sure makes it really long, but then most of your damage comes from that side. Okay, so like I said, only one of the 12 survived. We're gonna make nine more though. And we can't even match any of them. That's some bad luck. Not liking this move so much so far. Or that sound. Uh, can match one, that's rather underwhelming. Alright. This time it's gonna match with some and blow some more. Alright, 601k. He's out and he's got boat moves ready. So my sub's gonna be a bit late on that. Okay, 
Okay, let's do the sub now. Well, not much is gonna remain after that. <laughs> that killed a nine of the 12 by itself. One remain again. Make one more. And let's bring some stuff. Alright, it does work, but yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it. Doesn't seem reliable enough. Now let's try uh, something else. Alright, last move set we'll have a look for. It's gonna be basically a combination of the last two move sets. There's gonna be the sharpshooter, 10 MP red move, color submission, make 12 random gems into yellow sub gems, and do 87.9k damage for 8 turns. All submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into blast gems. The Argentine neck breaker, 5 MP purple move, deals 65.3k damage and make 11 random gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, gain 4 yellow MP. If broken by you, swap a 1x3 random area into red gems. And the cannonball, 5 MP yellow move, deals 65.3k damage and make 7 random gems into trap gems. Broken by your opponent, gain 4 purple MP. If broken by you, increase the damage of all your gem by 127% for 3 turns. So we're going back with the 2, uh, two uh, trap moves. And this time we're adding the submission. Now I'm not adding extra trap. This time I'm going double trainers here. Double MP trainers so that we can use both on the very first <coughs> Sorry, both on the very first turn. Uh, I'm keeping Ogun for the extra overall damage and the one MP. And uh, we also have Lashley here to increase the uh, the submission damage by 50%, making it 131.8k. And it's gonna last one more turn because I don't especially care about the blast gems in this case. It's mostly going to be about the submission jam damage and the trap damage, really. And that sub will reload the yellow trap most likely, too. Alright, let's try that. We're going to get both trap moves out. Apparently that alone was enough. Didn't get to test much with that though. That was way too fast. And unlikely to be a constant win because it's kind of low with like 550 or something like that. Let's, let's try it again to give it a good try. Alright, let's try that. Same thing. set of traps second set
2.31 million. I mean, just use both trap moves and who gives a shit what's the third move? You'll never use it. <laughs> That's pretty much how this spec is gonna go. Use both trap moves and whatever and you're gonna win. Man, those together are some pretty big damage. <laughs> Alright, well that's gonna be it for the new Kevin Owens Relentless. My fellow French Canadian is a freaking beast, as he should be. Thanks for watching guys. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. If you got any question about my comment, leave it in comments. Uh, any question about my content, leave it in comments. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. G out. Ciao.